Welcome to the Exact Contact tutorial series. In this tutorial, we are going to show you how to create an active business listing for a seller and record a property sale. In order to create a seller listing, if you have not already done so, you must first create a property record for the contact who owns the property. To add a property, start by opening the contact record from the contact list and click the Properties tab. Then click the Add Property link at the top of the Properties Summary list. Then enter the property address and what, uh, whatever other property information that you have. If the property is the home address on the contact record, you can simply click the Set to Contact Home Address link above the address section. And the property address is automatically filled in. To save the property, click the Save button at the top of the page. And the new property is added to the contact's property list with a status of own. To create a new listing for a property, click the Create Listing icon in the property list next to the property address. The Active Business Listing page opens for the entry of the new listing. All new seller listings are initially set with a status of active and with an agent representing of seller. Fill in the listing details. The listing asking price, as well as the listing start date and the listing expiry date are required in order to save the listing. You can also complete whatever, whatever other information you might have like the MLS number, lockbox number, etc., before saving. If you wish to add the listing expiry date to your calendar and set an automatic reminder a number of days prior to the start date, you can do this by clicking the Including Calendar checkbox, clicking Send Reminder, and entering the number of days prior that you want to receive that reminder. If you have done business with a seller before, be sure to check the Repeat Business checkbox in order to get accurate reporting on your repeat business. You can also enter your expected commissions from this listing. For all commissions, you can either enter the commission percentage and the commission amount will be automa automatically calculated for you, or you can enter the commission amount directly. When you have finished entering all of the listing information, click the Save button at the top of the page, and your listing is saved. Upon creating a listing for a contact, the update status pop-up will automatically come up after you save the listing. This will allow you to change the contact status to the new appropriate status. I'm going to update this contact to a status of current client. If you now go to the Active Listings and Buyers list by clicking the Active Business button in the main menu, you will see your new listing recorded in the list. In order to record a sale, open the listing by clicking the address link in the list. You can now update the listing status and record the property sale information. If you are not recording a sale and you simply want to add or update the listing information, you can leave the status as active, update any other listing information fields, and click the Save button. If the listing has expired or has become canceled or withdrawn, you can update the status accordingly and click the Save button. This will remove the active business entry and move it to the business history list. To update the listing to a sale, start by changing the status to one of the sold or pending statuses. The available statuses depend on whether you are in the U.S. or in Canada. Now that the listing has been updated to a sale, if you are also representing the buyer in the deal, you can select the both option at, for the agent representing. After doing so, notice that the Select Buyer button appears to the right. 
To select the buyer, click the button and use the simple contact search page to find the buyer. Check the box next to the buyer's name and click the select contact button. If the sale falls through, you can set the status back to active, which automatically sets the agent representing back to only the seller and removes the buyer from the transaction. If you are only representing the seller, simply leave the agent representing as seller. Now record the rest of the sale information. In order to save a sold or pending listing, you must enter the sale price, the selling commission, I'm going to enter a percentage, the offer accepted date, and the closing date. Notice that upon entering the sale information, the sold for percentage, as well as the number of days the listing was on the market, are automatically calculated for you. As required, fill in the other key dates on the listing and any other information that you have on the sale. You can set whatever key dates you wish to appear in your calendar with an automated reminder a selected number of days prior to the key date. When you finish entering all the information, click the Save button. And your listing information is saved. Click Active Business in the main menu again to return to the list. Note that if you are representing both the seller and the buyer on a transaction, that the listing appears in the active business list twice, once for the seller and once for the buyer. The two entries point to the same active business listing and the listing can be opened by clicking either entry. Also, since you are representing the buyer, the property is automatically added to the buyer's property list with a status of buying. To update the active business entry as the deal progresses, simply click the address in the active business list to make any necessary changes. Once you update the sale to closed, the listing moves from the active listings and buyers list to the business history list at the bottom of the page. I'm going to save this listing. Once again, I'm given an opportunity to update the status for the contact to the new appropriate status. I'm going to now set this to past client and save. And if I go back to the active business option in the main menu, the listing has now been moved from the active listings and buyers list down to my business history list. If we go to the seller's contact record and open the properties tab, you will see that the status for the property has now been automatically updated from own to once owned. And if we open the actual property record and scroll down to the sale details section, the sale date and sale price are also, also automatically updated with the listing information. Returning to the properties page, you will see that this transaction is also added to the business history list for the contact. If you are also representing the buyer, the ownership status of the buyer's property record is automatically updated from buying to own, and the transaction also appears in the buyer's business history list. In addition, the property purchase date, move-in date, and purchase price are automatically copied to the buyer's property record. If the status is changed to cancel, expired, and withdrawn, and you are also representing the buyer, the property is automatically removed from the buyer's property list. You now know how to create an active business listing and track the transaction information and status, whether you are representing just the seller or both the seller and the buyer.